Hey, what's up everyone? This is Andrew. I hope you are doing well. We're filming back in the beautiful Las Vegas for the weekend, but um, I want to put out this video just because we're seeing the whole market pump on Vivi. I'm sure if you've been watching since, you know, basically this last weekend all the way through this week, we're seeing prices really pump pretty much across the board from the collectibles to the comic books and a lot of things are hitting all-time highs. So it makes you start thinking, you know, is this a good time to buy? Are things about to start getting out of reach? Uh, what are some of the options that I can do here? So I want to offer my thoughts on this and kind of give you probably a different perspective than maybe what you're hearing. But, um, you know, I just want to put this out there, make you feel good about where you're sitting and have some other considerations to uh, make the best strategy for you. So before we get into the details, if you are a subscriber of this channel, I really appreciate all the support so far. If you are not a subscriber, which over half the people who watch this channel are not, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe. Comment down below what you think about all this as well. And let's jump into it. So like I said, we are seeing prices really start to skyrocket. I mean, we're seeing the comic books really getting you know, as high as the floor for a Marvel one at like $40,000. We're starting to see the FF one start to get up near $10,000 floor. Um, a lot of the collectibles, uh, the Givenchy is really getting up there um, and countless others. So it makes you start thinking, you know, what, what are some best options here? So just as a general rule in the crypto space, once things start hitting all time highs, there's usually a point where it starts to come down. It's never a direct ride up. Um, so just keep that in mind. That's usually a general rule in the crypto space. There are some other factors specifically with VV right now in the fact that we know that the Immutable X and Ethereum uh, transfer is happening. We know that the money transmittal license uh, is coming here soon and being able to cash out the app as well. So there's those things to consider as well. What I anticipate is that when the transfer happens and let's say the, the being the uh, functionality to be able to cash out of the app happens at the exact same time that we move over to Immutable X that is basically one in one. Um, I anticipate that there's going to be a, a come down in the prices. Um, like I said, just that and when there's all-time highs anyways, there's usually a, you know, a settling or consolidation period. Um, so I do anticipate that. Then I think the the MTL and people wanting to cash out, I believe that that's going to add to it as well. So we're going to start to see some prices coming down. Shortly after that, depending on if we can move some of those collectibles off of the app and sell them on open the uh, like OpenSea and other markets, or if we have new collectors coming in the space, you know, as we saw on a Taps Trade uh, interview that, you know, he was interviewing a whale or he was reacting to an interview about a whale saying that they wanted to come into this. They're just so used to open C and buying with crypto and that whole process to where VV was kind of a headache that, you know, they have to use a credit card and, you know, add gems only $350 at a time and, just not used to that, even though they want to jump into this. So I do anticipate an influx of new uh, NFT uh, whales and just the everyday NFT person coming into the project around the same time as well. So ultimately, I do anticipate prices are going to come down a little bit. Um, but then shortly after, we're probably going to start seeing those prices start to rise again, considering that the overall crypto market is you know holding steady and we don't see this uh this whole debacle in china really crash the the entire market but um i mean at the end of the day you know i i just would want i just want you to consider that there is so much content coming down the way um we already know of the licenses that they've announced that they haven't released yet now you know as david Yu has seen said on his most recent ama about 80% of the licenses that they do have, they haven't even announced yet. So there's so much content coming down the way. You know, I'm I'm speaking to the person, uh, you know, I'm not speaking to the person that, 
you know, ultimately, if, if you have your eyes set on one or two collectibles that you know are going to go through the moon and you, you know, or you have your last thousand gems and you know that that's the one that you want to hold and hodl long term, then go after it, do your thing. Um, I'm talking to the person that, you know, if you feel like you're going to have to stretch yourself to try and chase these things as the price is running up, um, then it's going to essentially take you out of the game for once that transfer happens and we have more and more brands that are going to come down the way. You know, if they do release a thing like Pokemon, you definitely want to be in the game. Once the VVverse comes out and they have digital real estate, you want to be in the game. So just don't let that FOMO uh, overtake you and that that uh, emotion of, hey, I'm, I'm missing out. Things are starting to run up. I don't want to miss out. And you go all in. Uh, I just want to let you know and give you a reminder that there's so much content coming out. There's so many more first appearances for some big and key brands coming. And the perfect example were the comic books. If you were on the app uh, you know, early into season one, we maybe heard some rumors about comic books. We didn't know when that was going to happen or what that was going to do. And then that brought a whole other dynamic, a whole other ecosystem into this app. And they're going through through the roof. But no one would have anticipated that, you know, that these $6.99 comics in less than two months are already, you know, close to a 40K floor, some of them. So, uh I just want to remind you there's so much content coming down the way. There's going to be so many more opportunities to get in at really good prices rather than chase as things are going up. So just remember that. Um, now, that is to say, for probably some of the key uh, collectibles and key comic books on the app, then maybe those will, There, some of them are already out of reach for most people. But I do anticipate those are going to keep climbing, and those are going to keep climbing up soon. You know, as uh, you know, some of the comic book collectors say with some of the the Grail books, those I do anticipate are just going to keep going up and up. But ultimately, you know, like I said, if you are stretching yourself to try and just chase these things up, just remember, you know, be patient. There's so much content coming down the way, and you're going to be able to grab those first key appearances or those brand new things, you know, like brand new asset like digital real estate, things like that coming very, very shortly. So just keep that in mind. I just want to give you that reminder. And this actually sums it up very perfectly. Now you may have seen this on uh, other videos as well, but this guy, Jeremiah Oyang, who is a technology analyst, he's an NFT collector. He's uh, pretty big in the space. And he put out this tweet, uh, you know, not too long ago in September, talking about when no one is looking, Disney and Marvel launched their first NFT on a quiet exchange called Vivi. In two weeks, Vivi connects to the Ethereum network. Guess what happens to the demand and prices? Disney, Marvel, DC on OpenSea. So I don't know if this guy is pretty new to Vivi, but I mean, this is this is what I keep saying. We are still very, very early in this project. Now, if you've been in since December or January or February, it doesn't seem like it anymore, but really we are. And there's still so many things coming down the way. I mean, just as wording on this, when no one was looking, Disney Marvel, Marvel launched their first NFT. So, you know, he's already kind of saying, hey, this, you know, this is still uh, really quiet and really new in uh, relative to the whole NFT space. And on a quiet exchange called Vivi, we don't feel like it's very quiet anymore. We feel like there's so many people piling in. But once again, in perspective to the the whole NFT space, Vivi is still so quiet. It's still new. So we're going to be making some big waves here shortly. But uh, ultimately, it's still such a small and early project relative to what's going on in the space. So uh, just keep that in mind. Don't let the FOMO get uh, a hold of you. Um, once again, this is not financial advice. This is just, you know, my thoughts on it. And just remember that there's so much content coming down the way that you want to be, you know, have some, uh, some dry powder on the side to be able to take advantage of that when it does come. So, um, hope this helped. Uh, hope this made you feel better if you are feeling that FOMO right now. Uh, but like I said, there, it is just starting. We have so much more to come. So just keep that in mind. Um, hodl. You know, do some flips if you need to start flipping up. But ultimately, um, we're in a pretty good space right now with so much more to come. So 
Um, if you appreciate this content, I would really appreciate a like and subscribe. Comment down below your thoughts on the whole situation as well. And I'll see you on the next one.